hello and welcome to another episode uh, of Dining with Diabetes. Right today, I'm just gonna make um, I'm just gonna make kind of like a dressing or a stuffing. Uh, we're just gonna call it more of a dressing because it might be uh, better to be on a, a side dish. But I have my pan really hot right now, and uh, I'm gonna tell you the ingredients as soon as I'm doing uh, I'm going through them. So let's just start with the uh, with the olive oil. And as you can see, my pan is really hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl this olive oil. I don't wanna really break it down that it turns purple. So let's just go ahead and add my mushrooms. I'm just gonna go ahead and add uh, my celery. As you can see, my um, celery is kind of like getting caramelized. So it is the point for me to add the onions, right? I'm just gonna add the onions because they're just gonna extract a little bit of moisture after the celery is cooking. Look how caramelized this is. It's actually looking pretty good. Let's just add some, some of the garlic. And the reason why I'm adding the garlic now is because I really don't want that bitterness to it. I just want the flavor and the aroma to kind of like linger, right? This is one of the things you can do. You can add uh, your cranberries right here with the fresh herbs and the spices, right? Oh, and that's just gonna give such a nice, nice <laughs> flavor to it, as you can see. You can actually deglaze it with some of the broth. Why? Because we just want everything right in there to kind of like start getting a little softer, right? I'm just gonna add my rest of ingredients. This is uh, my butternut squash. And remember, it looks a little darker and it's because of the balsamic vinegar and the caramel caramelization in it, right? So now we're just gonna incorporate the farro, right? Which I have cooked already and cool it down. So here what I'm going to do for you is just bring it to temperature, right? And the reason why, how I'm gonna do that is by adding the chicken broth. And on now, before we kind of like the glaze with the broth, you can use some wine if you want to. Um, but right now we're just using broth. And if you want this dish to be completely vegetarian, you can definitely omit the organic chicken broth and you can just use uh, vegetable broth, right? So the beauty of it is like, now I'm just gonna add my, my cup of liquid. This is what's going to actually make a very nice, you know, and softer. The grain is just gonna come back to the right temperature. Uh, if you can see the grains right there, they're still whole. They would open, they would, they're going to absorb a lot of liquid. Uh, they're still gonna have a bite to them. They kind of like, they have some chewiness to it, which is actually really nice, but it doesn't really become pasty, you know? And that's why you have to be kind of like conscientious about. And uh, we're just gonna add just a sprinkle of um, Italian parsley. And the other thing that we're definitely going to fall right now is just gonna be the kale. I just steamed it and then I just put it in the fridge so it cooled down and it actually kept that beautiful green color in it. So you see, and uh, it's just very nice just to see all these colors and I just can hear that drizzle underneath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add, uh, just because I have enough spices in there, I'm just gonna add the rest of my chicken broth. Let's just bring that temperature low and let's just fold the everything in because the temperatures, they actually rise and this is more than 165. So, you see the colors, how they start incorporating and uh, they're actually looking pretty nice. Mm -hmm. 